Number bonds are used to show how three numbers work together. First, you draw a circle at the top, and then you make a upside down V coming off of it with two circles at the bottom. This can also be drawn another direction to the side, or even upside down. The direction simply does not matter. This circle up here is to represent the total, the number that you're starting with. These two circles down here at the bottom show the numbers that you would use to add together to get the total. So for example, let's say our total was 10. I knew that one of our add-ins was 7. What number would go with 7 to make 10? We teach the children different strategies on how to solve this problem. First, they could subtract 10 minus 7 to get this number. Second, they could start at 7 and count up to 10 to get to this number. Either way is fine. So 10 minus 7 is 3. This number bond shows that 3 and 7 work together to create 10. These numbers go together to form a relationship. Another way of looking at it is as a fact family. You use the numbers that are created in the, num in the number bond to come over and create two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences that work together. So for example, we know that if we have 3 and 7, they add together to create 10. So then we create, can create one math sentence that is an addition fact, and then we can switch the numbers, this is called the commutative property, and come up with another addition sentence that creates this similar fact. Next, you start with the largest number going in the first blank here to create your subtraction problem. Just like we talked about earlier, we could take 10 and take 7 away from it, and we come up with 3. Or we could switch the numbers, commutative property again, and take 10 minus 3 to come up with 7. Fact families and number bonds go together to create a relationship between numbers and help students see how bonds are formed.